hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so far we have discussed around four questions on superposition theorem so this is the fifth question and uh, the circuit diagram it is very simple and straightforward it consists of two sources a voltage source unknown voltage source which is variable e and a current source 0.6 milliampere both of them are independent DC sources we have two resistors 200 ohm and 400 ohm and the current flowing through this uh, 400 ohm resistor is 0.3 ampere now here it has been asked what is the value of this voltage source variable voltage source e we have to determine that so we will there are various ways in which we can solve this circuit we can use the most uh, you know straightforward way is to apply nodal analysis nodal analysis here it would be very uh, easy we can solve it just like that quickly but we will solve it using superposition theorem because we are discussing that so we have to do it in two steps because there are two sources a voltage source and a current source so first let us take consider the current source and we will short circuit this voltage source so this is step one okay so we will short circuit this current source this is 200 ohm this is 400 ohm and this is 0.6 ampere now we have to determine this current let's call it i dash okay so we will apply current division rule because it is in two resistor form and we have a current flowing through this it gets divided here so current division rule we will apply to determine the value of i dash so it will be equal to 0.6 ampere into the other resistor which is 200 ohm divided by the sum of the two resistances it is 200 plus 6 and sorry 200 plus 400 ohm total will be 600 so 200 by 600 it means 3 it will become 3 and this is 0.2 ampere and it is downward that is very important 0.2 ampere downward now, I always said that we have to always pay attention to the direction of the current and the polarity of the voltage. Okay, that is very important. So, here in the question, the current flowing through the 400 ohm resistor is 0.3 ampere, the total current, because of the voltage source and the current source combined is 0.3 ampere and it is downward. Here, when we considered only the current source 0.6 ampere, and we deactivated the voltage source the current flowing through the 400 ohm resistance is 0.2 ampere it is downward now we have to determine the value of e so here it means 0.3 ampere the total current should be equal to the sum of the two currents produced because of the 0.6 ampere current source and the voltage source E. Because of the current source, the current which is flowing is 0.2 ampere. It means because of the voltage source, the current which will flow through the 400 ohm resistor will be 0.1 ampere. It has to be because the combined effect is 0.3 ampere. It is because of voltage and current sources combined that is E 
and 0.6 ampere both of them combined they produce 0.3 ampere which is given this is only because of 0.6 ampere it means when E will be considered alone this voltage source will be considered alone and this will be open circuited this will be open circuited the current which will be produced is 0.1 ampere okay so it means that in step 2 okay let us do it here step 2 will consider this voltage source only will open circuit this it means in step 2 this is open circuited this current will be 0.1 ampere from here we just got it so here we have know the resistance values we know the current we just have to determine the voltage source it means E the total voltage source divided by the total resistance 600 ohm which is 200 plus 400 ohm okay that is equal to 0.1 ampere that implies E is equal to 0.1 into 600 which is equal to 60 volt so another important thing which I have already discussed is about volt kilo ohm milliampere form and volt ohm ampere form if the circuit parameters are in the form of the voltage is given in volt resistance is in kilo ohm then the current will be in milliampere or if voltage is in volt current is in milliampere resistance will be in kilo ohm or if resistors are in kilo ohm voltage are in milliampere uh, the current are in milliampere terms then voltage will be in volt similarly if voltage is in terms of volt current uh, uh, resistance is in terms of ohms then current will be in ampere form okay so always try to bring the circuit in either of these two forms whichever you like okay so here in this circuit the current is in amperes resistance is in ohms so naturally it will be volt so don't try to confuse yourself putting the units that is you if if it would have been given here 0.6 milliampere then don't do this 0 0.1 or 0 0.6 into 10 to the power minus 3 don't do it like that okay so you just have to bring the circuit in either of these two forms volt kilo ohm milliampere volt ohm milliampere okay whichever you like so always try to bring the voltages in, in, in volts form if it is given in microvolt or millivolt convert it into volts then uh, convert the resistance into either kilo ohm or ohm then you will get the result accordingly whether it is in milliampere or ampere okay so here we got the answer the value of the voltage source E so that the current flowing through the 400 ohm resistor is 0.3 ampere is 60 volt okay so at any point if you don't understand please pause the video at that point and uh, try to you know follow me by using uh, doing this whole thing in rough okay so that you understand it point by point step by step okay so this is the answer the value of E is 60 volt so that the total response the current flowing through this 400 ohm resistor because of both E and 0.6 ampere current source is 0.3 ampere okay the value of E is 60 volt okay so I hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much